Are you ready to talk California cruises? Because I sure am. I've been doing a lot of research. There has been so much media coverage right now in regards to ships that are coming over to California. I was like, well, how many ships are coming to California? And how many ships have actually already been here? So let's track California cruises. So my research is on just for 2019. So I literally only did it from January to December. And I hope I captured the majority of it, but there is some that I did leave out. So I'm gonna start by first saying that we have four ports here in California, four primary ports. And so the main one, or kind of the main two are Long Beach, <coughs> excuse me, and San Pedro. Then we have a good number that go out of San Diego. And then we have some that actually go out of San Francisco as well. So if you weren't aware of that, news to you. So I'm going to start with uh, the three and four day cruises. So, there's, so for 2019, three and four day cruises. So Carnival Inspiration and Imagination, we're going to start there just because those have been the staples on the California coast for a very long time. Um, my husband and I went on the Imagination in 2015 before the upgrade, so we haven't even been back on them since then. So um, probably a good thing that maybe we jump on there for a weekend or something, just to see what those upgrades are. But in 2019, we are getting the Panorama, and they're actually, it's going to be assigned to a seven day, but for its inaugural, they're going to do a three day down to Ensenada. Usually the um, three and four days, the three days are, are Ensenada, and the four days include Catalina for Carnival. So out of San Pedro, we have the Princess Cruise Line with the Ruby Princess, and they will be doing a four-day cruise down to Ensenada, and they include Santa Barbara. The Royal Princess is also going out of San Pedro, and they are doing pretty much the same itinerary as, as Carnival with the four-day Catalina Ensenada. So out of the San Diego port, Carnival Miracle is making an appearance and they will be doing a three day and a four day same as the other Carnival itineraries for the Ensenada and then the Catalina. But also out of San Diego is the Disney Wonder. So if I wanted to check out a Disney ship, I'd probably do it out of California just because it's usually costs a little bit more for the Disney cruises. And so that would probably be the best way to go. And they do something kind of nice. They have a three day Ensenada, and then they also have a four day Cabo San Lucas. So that may be one that entices me to get on a Disney ship. There are also um, some one ways. So they have, on the Princess out of San Pedro, the Emerald, the Golden, the Coral, and the Star Princess will all be doing a one way up from San Pedro to Vancouver, British Columbia. Those are literally straight shots. There are no ports for that. The San Diego um, port will be, have the Holland America that will, Eurodam and Osterdam, which will be going one way also up to Vancouver, and, and they will be stopping in Victoria. It's kind of cool because if you wanted to jump on that, they're usually um, going up there for the Alaska season, and you could literally go up there and then get on the Alaska cruise, so that'd be kind of cool, <coughs> which a lot of people do. The San Francisco port has Holland America Volendam, and they go, it's going, oh, it is going to stop in Victoria, um, but it will end up in Vic, uh, Vancouver. So just think of that as you're thinking of your Alaska cruises. If you wanted to do a little stop over here in California, or if you're already in California. 
So the five day cruises um, out of San Pedro, the Ruby Princess has two different itineraries. They have one that's a round trip and one that's a um, one way. So one five day uh, on the Ruby Princess is uh, two days in Cabo. I could do that. And then Ruby Princess will also be going up to Vancouver. And they will actually be, it's kind of interesting, they start in Los Angeles, they're going to go down to San Diego, up to Victoria, and then to San, uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. That's a really interesting itinerary to go down to San Diego first, but anyway, if you've never been there. So the Royal Princess will be doing also two days in Cabo out of, and I think that one was out of San Pedro. That's the Royal Princess. And then the Disney Wonder will be doing a, out of San Diego port, a five day Cabo Ensenada, which will have a couple days at sea. Out. So that'll be kind of fun. Every time I say these, I'm like, I could go on that one. Well, I can go on all of these. Six day cruises. So a six day cruise um, out of San Pedro. So we have the Norwegian Bliss, but that is a one way to Vancouver. So that is their, pro, their you know, I don't want to say repositioning, but really it is. It's a repositioning. So it's two days at sea. They go to San Francisco, Victoria. It arrives on Friday, but you don't disembark until Saturday. So that's really cool. So you have a whole 24 hours in Vancouver. So, um, and then San Diego port is Holland America, Amsterdam. And that is also going to Vancouver one way. And you'll be going to Santa Barbara, San Francisco, Victoria, Vancouver. And of course, I'm not really mentioning sea days, but you all know there's sea days in there. Okay, now we're going to talk about seven-day cruises. And um, everyone, maybe not everyone knows, but I'll let you know. It's all about the Mexican Riviera for these seven-day cruises. The ports are Cabo, Mazatlan, Puerto Vallarta. Um, there was some issues a little while where they weren't going to Mazatlan, but they're back. I went in May and we got a little taxi tour of the city. We did a couple stops. We went to Flea Mart. We went to a beautiful church. And it was just so much fun. So we had a good time. And so currently right now the Carnival Splendor is going out of the Long, Borch, Long, the Long Beach Port. In 2019, Carnival Miracle will come over and fill a little bit of gap until the Carnival Panorama arrives. And then I am so excited to jump on that ship in 2020. Fingers crossed. And then San Pedro Port, um, pretty much same itinerary, so I'm not going to go over the ports again. You have the Princess, uh, the Ruby Princess, Royal Princess, and the Emerald Princess. And Norwegian goes out of San Pedro as well. And they are the Gem, the Star, the Bliss, and the Joy. And they have different months, different times. So, but these are the ships that will be in 2019 at the San Pedro port. Just say it. The San Diego port um, does Holland America, and that's the Eurodam, the Osterdam, and the New Amsterdam. I'm going to say that's new. It's N-I-E-U-W. So we're going with that. The Disney Wonder also goes out of the San Diego port and it's again those same um, uh, ports of call. So, all right. So also for seven day itineraries, we have the Pacific Northwest itineraries which go up towards Alaska and then some that go along the coastline of California. So I'm going to let you know those, um, So especially if you're coming and wanting to see a variety of things in a short amount of time, don't really want to drive and you love cruising, this is an option. So the San Pedro Port has the Ruby Princess that goes out of uh, up to San Francisco, Monterey, Ensenada, and back um, to San Diego, 
or down to San Diego and back to San Pedro. I need to learn how to read what I wrote. And then out of the San Francisco port, we have the Grand Princess. Now, this one, if I'm pretty sure, yes, I'm positive. So these two, so the Grand Princess actually goes north and it goes south. It goes all over. And so um, it, I'm going to give you this information and then there is a back to back so you could make it 14 day cruise um, all over the California and let me tell you, Santa Barbara, San Pedro, San Diego, Ensenada, uh, a sea day to San, and, and return to San Francisco. Again, leave from San Francisco up to Astoria, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, Vancouver, Victoria. You have a sea day in there, and then back to San Francisco. So leave, leaving from San Francisco, going south and then north, and it's a there's one back-to-back -back set in late October of 2019. So I thought that was pretty cool. The Crystal Serenity also goes out of the San Francisco port, and that hits Santa Barbara and San Francisco. I think I meant San Diego. Ensenada and Catalina Island. So that's a pretty good one. The Crystal Eclipse does pretty much that same itinerary except it has Monterey as well. And if you haven't seen my Monterey Bay Aquarium visit which I did not too long ago, I'll link it below. There's a beautiful aquarium in Monterey that if you have kids, you have to take them. It's absolutely beautiful. There's so many great things. I haven't been back in years, 20 years maybe, or more. So beautiful. So worth it to go. That particular one on the eclipse has no sea days, so be prepared for that. Oceana Cruises Serena. So a little bit more on the high end. Goes to Santa Barbara, Monterey, Catalina, Ensenada, and that one's out of San, uh, and it goes to San Francisco, and it goes, um, it's out of San Pedro. Oh, okay. Now we have some one way for a seven days out of San Pedro port, and that's on the Ruby Princess and the Island Princess. So they're both out of San Pedro. They're going to Vancouver, both of them. So I believe, I'm gonna, again, repositioning, because um, they're going up north. So they're going um, San Pedro, San Diego, a couple days in San Francisco, Seattle, Vancouver, and of course, Sea Days. And the Island Princess is actually going to hit San, Santa Barbara, San Francisco, Astoria, Oregon, Victoria, and they'll end in Vancouver. All right. Since this is going right.